How the heck do I fill a shape layer with a gradient color fill? I was always wondering, and I found out. Here's the answer. First of all, let's square things up with our composition by pressing shift and then forward slash, and that will make everything centered and nice. Make sure that you don't have any layers selected here. Um, if you do happen to have a layer selected, you want to deselect it, you can just click off of it, or you can press command shift A, and that will deselect it. So let's draw a shape. Come up here to the shape tool. You can press Q to get to it. And Q, if you just keep pressing it, will also shuffle through the various options you have. So let's draw an ellipse tool, or ellipse shape. Um, you can hold down shift and it'll make it a perfect circle, or you can do whatever you want. If you hold down command and shift, it will drop from the center. Nice little tips. So there we have our shape. Now, how do we turn this boring red shape into a gradient? Very simple. You just come up to here where it says fill. Once you have your shape layer selected, click fill, and this will give you the options to go from either a solid color, no color, linear gradient, or radial gradient. Um, you also have all of these options here, um, opac opacity options, preview, blah, blah, blah. There you go, press okay. Now you have your gradient established, and if you want to uh, modify it, you can just click and drag this bar here, or you can always, as long as you have the shape layer selected, go up here and click on this fill square thumbnail thing, and this will allow you to modify everything and add colors and do whatever you want with it. So there you go, and that is my quick tip for today. Um, how about just an added bonus tip Something you might not know about is if to select everything, of course, you press Command A. Now, if you want to expose the insides of everything inside of all of these layers, or just one layer, but let's say you have all, all selected or just one, press Command Shift and then the tilde sign. I believe that's what's called. It's a little key next to the one. That will expose the innards of every single layer. And then if you press Command Shift tilde again, that condenses it back down. See how that works? It's very nice. It's a great way for when you have something like this where some of your layers are open and some are not, and you want to clean it all up real fast, just click on any layer, press Command A, Command Shift tilde, Command Shift tilde again, and then press Command Shift A to deselect. And there you have everything cleaned up. You know how to center your stuff and get it looking all front and center by pressing shift and forward slash. And lastly, a little bonus tip is if you didn't already know this, if you press the tilde sign when you're inside of any window, it will maximize that window for you, making things easier to work with. Oh, and while I'm at it, here's another added bonus tip. Let's say you have an effect thing pulled up, your effect windows pulled up, and you wanna quickly get back to your project Instead of Xing out of that and being back at your project, a really simple keyboard shortcut is when you're in the effect and you want to go back to the project page, just hold down Command and press 0. Boom. Added bonus tips for y'all. Hope I helped you out. Hope this worked. Peace.